Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? How about this honor for Paulson Adebo? This should come as no surprise to anyone and probably the easiest player of the week honor the NFL has had to give out so far this year. But uh, after his performance on Sunday against the Chicago Bears, Saints cornerback Paulson Adebo named the NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And was there really any other choice? He stuffed the stat sheet with seven tackles, intercepted Tyson Bajant twice, broke up three passes, and also had the forced fumble and fumble recovery when DJ Moore was held up, punched out the ball and recovered it. Paulson Adebo was a one-man wrecking crew on Sunday. Thank God he showed up because without Paulson Adebo's three takeaways on Sunday, the Saints probably lose that game incredibly. But Paulson Adebo was awesome, and that was great to see. And the other thing about Adebo that's um, that's worth noting, we've look, the Saints made a huge investment in Marshawn Lattimore. They made him you know, the 11th overall pick, and uh, they paid him nearly $100 million when they extended him, and justifiably so. He's, he's, when he's right, arguably the best cornerback in the NFL. I said arguably. But Paulson Adebo's path also, similarly, has been, um, has been really cool to see. Remember, when Adebo was at Stanford, he opted out of the COVID year. So Paulson Adebo didn't play football in 2020. The Saints use a high draft pick on him. And in 2021, as a rookie, he was really good. Paulson Adebo started all 17 games that year for the Saints. He had 66 tackles, three interceptions, had eight pass breakups. He was really good as a rookie. And then if you remember, last year, when we were doing our camp reports, Paulson Adebo was the star of Saints training camp in 2022. Then he suffered the injury late in camp and ended up playing in just 13 games with 12 starts. So, and, he, and because he was battling that injury, he never really got all the way right last year. Still had 60 tackles, did not record an interception in a year defensively where the Saints just didn't take the ball away, and had seven passes defensed. So while there was, but remember, he had the great rookie year. And he was just ascending throughout training camp going into year two. Then he had the injury, and that really cost him throughout the year. You come into this year, and he has already missed two games. But when he's been healthy and his seven games started, he's already got four interceptions, which is a career high. It's the most interceptions in his He had three as a rookie, none last year. So he's already got four interceptions. And in just seven games, he's already got 11 pass defenses. Remember, his career high was eight as a rookie. So through just seven games, he's already bested his rookie number by three pass breaks up, uh, pre three pass breakups. So you can go away from Marshawn Lattimore and you can challenge Paulson Adebo, but what he keeps showing is he's up for the challenge. Now I understand the Saints aren't exactly playing the best passing offenses or the best quarterbacks in the league. We've talked about that a ton, but it doesn't matter. You're still out there on a given Sunday on an NFL field running around and you're stuffing the stat sheet. And that's awesome to see because. If you have Lattimore healthy playing at his best and you have the complement with Paulson Adebo and both of these guys are still early in their careers and now you add Elante Taylor into the slot, you've got a three-headed monster there at cornerback in an era, in a passing era in the NFL that is unmatched in the history of the New Orleans Saints. When you know, We've talked about this. When, when Lattimore came into the league in 17 and started playing at an all-pro level, we put a lot of history and context around this, but the best cornerback tandem the Saints ever had in their history prior to now was a Jabari Greer and Mike McKenzie. When Remember, they traded for McKenzie and they, the, the Super Bowl team, it was Greer and McKenzie was like the best cornerback duo in, literally in the history of the Saints organization. We had that conversation with Mike D over and over again during those years. You're better than that now. I mean, you've got two legit number one dudes that are playing at an all-pro level right now, which is awesome. So congrats to Paulson Adebo, a no-brainer to be named NFC a Defensive Player of the Week. But what a day he had against the Bears. Thank God he showed up ready to play. It's a huge re reason as to why the Saints were able to win that game and win their, their second consecutive game and take over first place in the division.
Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.